Korea, pushing President Trump closer than ever to the most agonizing foreign policy choice facing his administration. Try to stop Kim Jong-un's menacing nuclear advance with maximum pressure or military muscle. In South Korea, a precision missile strike drill trying to prove U.S. allied forces have the ability to shoot down North Korea's most dangerous intercontinental ballistic missile yet. The Hwasong-15 blasted through the Earth's upper atmosphere, 10 times higher than the International Space Station, theoretically putting within striking range the entire U.S. East Coast, including New York and Washington. North Korean state media releasing the first images of the overnight launch and their supreme leader celebrating with top military officers. North Korea boasting. Kim Jong-un declared with pride that now we have finally realized the great historic cause of completing the state nuclear force. Also claiming the 23rd missile test of the Trump presidency reconfirmed the safety of the warhead in the atmospheric reentry environment. It is a situation that we will handle. President Trump tweeting Wednesday, just spoke to President Xi Jinping of China concerning the provocative actions of North Korea. Additional major sanctions will be imposed on North Korea today. This situation will be handled. I see the president's response, at least I hope to see it, uh, as a sign that he is stepping in line, more in line with his national security team. But China's leader giving no indication he's willing to take any actions that would destabilize Kim Jong-un's government, recently sending a special envoy and even a gift to the North Korean leader. A North Korean official telling CNN diplomacy with the U.S. is off the table for now until Pyongyang fully demonstrates its nuclear capabilities, including a possible above-ground thermonuclear test. Mr. Reed, thank you so much. A threat first made by North Korea's foreign minister in September, reiterated by a senior diplomat in Pyongyang last month. Should the world prepare for North Korea to detonate a nuclear device above ground? The foreign minister is very well aware of the intentions of our supreme leader, so I think you should take his words literally. Analysts have accused North Korea of bluster, saying the nation risks absolute destruction if it goes to war with the U.S. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham telling CNN's Wolf Blitzer this. We have to go to war to stop this. We will. Each provocation pushes Trump closer to one of the most critical presidential decisions since the end of World War II. Accept North Korea as a nuclear power or take action that risks triggering a military conflict with potentially unthinkable consequences. Will Ripley.